It's been about a month since the Fresh Season was released, and now we have a new patch. Unlike the previous patches, Nintendo actually does something to balance crap meta, so here we go. For the main weapon, Splattershot Nova's movement speed and paint around the feet has been increased. Luna Blaster's 70 damage radius has been increased, meaning it's easier to do max indirect damage. The Explosive Falloff has been buffed. Sliperiter's damage has been increased from 60 to 68. For Slosher, its falloff has been buffed, meaning it will always be a two-shot kill no matter what. Mini Splatling's firing duration has been increased by about 17%. The Dapple Dilly's end like was reduced by about 0.06 seconds, and Splat Dilly's entire roll is 0.06 seconds faster. Honestly, I had a hard time even finding these changes while looking in the editor. The reflexive shots have a smaller spread, meaning getting one-shot kills is more consistent. Its mobility speed while charging has also been increased. For some weapons, the angle shooter's paint has been doubled. Again. The burst bomb's inconception has been increased from 40 to 45%. However, if you run max sub saber, the effect will still be the same as before the nerf. For special weapons, the exact sucking radius has been increased. The tactic color can now be thrown 33% farther, and you can now get drinks from farther away. Reese minimum damage has been increased to 70, and its painting radius has been increased by 21%. Ink just 50 damage shots box has been increased, and now it can jump higher than before. Ultra Sap is less of a joke now, its hitbox into the charging mode has been increased and its turning rate has been buffed. In addition, when charging, the hammer will be transparent, so it's easier to see the poor guy you're about to run over. The Kraken's knockback has been increased on tower, and users will now drop clams when they activate special. And this is what you've all been waiting for, Nintendo does something revolutionary. They put an action nerf on Crab Tank. So now Crab Tank has a delay that prevents you from shooting right after you get out of ball form. And when the special is finished, there is another delay before you use your weapons. For abilities, sub resistance affecting its burst and fifties has been increased at less amounts. It actually works well. In this clip, three subs completely counters the combos burst can do with Splatana Stamper. Opening Gambit now gives you a 15 second extension after a killer assist. Previously, this was 7.5 seconds. Also, now gives remains of intensify action. For special points, the Carbon Roller Deco has been decreased from 200 to 290, and the 96 Deco has been increased from 200 to 210. Overall, this is a pretty good patch that addresses some major issues in the meta, mainly Crab Meta, which has been going on for way too long, and Kraken, which has been breaking objectives. Personally, I'm surprised that they didn't take 6 months to nerf Kraken, but hey, at least everything is fixed now. Except for Brellas.